Look at your boy. Look at this, Jeremy. Good job, dude. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I, I mean, I, you know, I think a good friend is somebody who, when they see their buddy getting a little too big for their britches, they've got to remind them of their actual role out there. And I think that that was uh, it. Was uh, it was actually insane. Um, the you know, you, you obviously generally have far more viewers than me, so I had to take the wins where I can get them. Uh, but yeah, it was, <laughs> I was watching your stream. You were way up there. Um, and then I think once people could get into the X stream, uh, then like our numbers dipped a little bit, but I was, I was a little sad that it suddenly worked, but that, that's okay. It was still, <laughs> it was still, it was still wild. It was wild to see the amount of people live on rumble watching it. Um, I think the real numbers are obviously, uh, you know, it's definitely close to 50 million to a hundred million. I think people that actually listen to the video interview, the, the, the seismic, sh you know, the, I don't know if you saw the tweet that Elon put out where it was, you know, a, a, an infographic of like a thousand negative um, headlines. From yeah. We last got that. Night. We yeah. Up. It, it, it's, it was great. I hope Trump, I wish Trump would do it every week, maybe not for three hours, but you know, he should do it more. We put up a poll yesterday. Like, do you want do you want this to happen? Like, every, like every single week, we call it a fire space chat, right? So it's just yeah. fire space, and maybe like even at some point, Elon Musk and Donald Trump can sit by a fireplace. There are plenty of fireplaces in Mar-a-Lago. Mm -hmm. Sit the boys down. So here's the graphic you were talking about of all the yeah. hate. I like sit the boys down and do this every week. I think Trump wins. I think Trump wins handily on election night if they do that because you're able to hotwire the entire system and there's no middleman. This is actually the best Trump, I would argue. Like yeah. Trump off the top of his head, like just chatting. We got we got multiple amazing Trumpisms last night. Now we obviously know the rosy fat pig thing, but we've got the way no way, which is classic. <laughs> we had the I had another stupid threat out of his stupid face. That was a classic. Uh, calling the one guy a loser was also classic. As Trump settled in later in the interview, he got he he was himself. He was funny. Like Trump's funny when he's like, you know, off the cuff. So I think you're right. Also, importantly, uh, I would argue that it definitely uh gave us a break in the cackle momentum or the Kamala nominon. Um, it's every headline out there is Donald Trump right now instead of shocking new poll says Gen Z supports Kamala. You know what I mean? Like all this literal fake news that they're putting out. So it was, it's great to see that too. Kamala, I mean, since you brought up Kamala, uh, she had a, she had an ex-girlfriend meltdown last night. Not great. Like, yeah. <laughs> screenshotting, <laughs> screenshotting texts, right? Like, you know, yeah. Kamala throw, putting them up on Snapchat. And she, she was, she was true. Like reaching for the bottle of Xanax, getting in, <laughs> getting on some, getting in some yoga pants, mean well, girl from the couch. Yeah. I think I was getting Whoa. close once I saw my numbers hit 150,000 live viewers. I was like, "Where Xanax? Where's that?" <laughs> <That's strange. laughs> but the um, yeah, I mean, I, I did like the optics of, "Hey, the entire world's tuned into Donald Trump. Uh, money, please." Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Money, please. Pop that up, by the way. Let's yeah. pop it up. Uh, we got the Kamala Harris like. Beg like give it yeah yeah the two worst people you know what was the, the line the two worst people you know are talking give yeah. me twenty five dollars <laughs> money please pours yeah like it's just I never <laughs> I never I mean I admit even on really on all sides you know this may be an unpopular take but I I'm full of them like I don't love when politicians ask the plebs for money especially yes. ones that like on the national stage that have huge money coming in from like big corporate donors. But like, I, you know, Kamala just stole a hundred million from Joe Biden. And now she's like, money, please. I need 25, <laughs> 20, just $25 pours. Help me out. <laughs> Not a good look. <laughs> I promise I'll fix the economy on day one. Yeah. Day one. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't do been you in know? office. <laughs> what would you say you do here? <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. And I, that's one thing I keep telling my friends and family to 
you know, when they talk to a Democrat and they're like, ooh, Kamala's going to do this. Kamala, it's like, what has she been doing the last three and a half years? What <laughs> stopped her from stopping taxes on tips? Oh, which you mean she voted to keep the taxes on tips? Oh, oh you know, like, and people, it's so, you guys got to be able to relate to this. Like, sometimes you just like, man, people are so stupid. Like, I just can't, I can't, like, we're watching in real time the mainstream media apparatus, like, completely... Oh, she doesn't have where the borders are. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. You far right extremist, Benny? That's crazy. One of, one of the speeches, or yeah, she keeps giving the same speech over and over. Number one, number two, she was like bashing the the fact that prices are too high, um, and then she's like, "Yeah, on day one, we're gonna fix that." I'm like, "So you're not going to tell the president, uh, who your vice president to, how to fix these prices if you know how to do it?" So all all of this time, th these four years, you you've known the secret to lower prices, and you just haven't told him. Like so, okay. there's so your house is on fire, and there your doggy is trapped inside, and there's two firemen outside, and one of them is uh, clearly handicapped and has like a disease, and the other one is sitting there with the fire hose, with like their foot cranking the fire hose, being like, mm -mm -mm, "Too bad, yep. it's a it's, a it's a terrible thing that your house is burning, but you better give me money first before I." <laughs> I, I know I could fix it, but you're gonna have to elect me. Mm -hmm, the, that's the, right. Um, it's extremely frustrating. I can't help the, you know, the handicapped fireman who's here. I uh, got my, got my uh, stiletto, you know, got my Louis yeah. Vuitton and my $60,000 Tiffany's necklace right on the fire hose. Here's a, uh, Jeremy, you've been, okay. So you've been, you've been streaming. Um, you're like, you're like one of the old wise sages of streaming. <laughs> yeah, I want to, yeah. I want to ask you about this. How long have you been streaming, Jeremy? Like, oh my God. Yeah, ten, years, more than 10 years. Yeah, yeah 10 yeah. years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I want to ask you about, <laughs> do you ever like, do you ever like steal someone's job from them and then <laughs> take their, and then hack into their YouTube accounts and then take their channels and then stream you stealing their literal job from them, from their channels? Is this like a practice in humility? I mean, is this like some type of like Abu Ghraib? <laughs> I've uh, seen it humiliation. I've it, seen it a few times with the with the crypto scams, but that that's been about it. And that's you know, speaking of, I mean, Kamala Harris is basically a crypto scam. She's making you <laughs> all sorts of promises about getting rich and fixing things, and then when you t when it turns out when you actually connect your bank account, they just take all your money. Like, yeah, it's a perfect metaphor for for her do doing this, and it's um, it's wild to me. The, the, obviously the hilarious part is that there's 500 people watching that. Um, and like, and this was a big announcement. This was the huge. VP, th you know, this was supposed to be the big one, right? Like, and there was 500 people watching. Yeah. I, you know, I, I wonder if, you know, I was, t I was really hoping the Kamala nominon or the Calcomentum or whatever would have dried up by now. But I really am thinking that, I mean, at some point the press has to ask, they have to, right? We're on almost day 20 of them just like letting the letting her just coast. At some point, somebody's got to say something, right? I would yeah. hope. Yeah, she's answered three questions so far, and two of them were the same answers. Two of them were about the debate. Um, and then the first one was her answer where she just talked in circles about diplomacy and how important the importance of diplomacy and dipl uh, having a diplomat and blah, blah, blah. And she went in circles and circles. That was the first first time she talked to the press. And then the other two were about the debate. Those are the only three questions that she's answered since replacing Biden. Are you guys feeling a sense of existential dread like I am, where it's like I'm letting the bad thoughts creep in a little bit? Like they're gonna really they're gonna protect this woman for the next three months. They're they're like CNN's gonna protect this woman for three months. Nobody's gonna ask her any questions. And she for some reason, for a woman that like basically, in my opinion, cooed her way into the uh, the incumbent presidency. Yes. Uh, she, she is in the put. She has the power, so she's not going to agree to do three debates with Trump. She's going to do the one. I don't know if she'll do a town hall. I hope so, because yeah. we're just. I'm just basically uh, on the mathematical equation. Is the more words that come out of her mouth, the less votes she gets. But yeah, I'm. I'm feeling. How do you stave off? How do you push the ghosts away? When you're looking at mm. these betting markets who are like, oh, she's up by 15 points in the betting markets. I'm like, 
what i don't understand any of it it feels like it's all a facade but i keep waiting for it to go away the only thing that gives me some confidence is the fact that it only took one debate to knock biden out so the fact that she's going to be on stage with trump and she's going to be or going to have to be unscripted uh, unless george stephanopoulos like slips her the questions like donna brazil did no he's gonna, um yeah. yeah i know like the the fact that she's going to be on a stage with Trump gives me some confidence that it might just be enough to, you know, flip the script a little there. We need mean Trump back on stage. Oh yeah. We, he needs oh, yeah. to make her crack. He needs another, a black woman is talking moment from her. Like <laughs> that's like the mission. I think it was Michigan, right? Like yeah, we need more so. of that because people need to remember just how unlikable she is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to try and white pill here uh, for just a second do. i'm and, i have a prescription i need it filled Benny. Uh, yeah i should try and white pill I, I hate to put the the same thing I hate, I hate to put the same thing back up but we all saw you know millions of people trying to listen to president trump and elon yesterday and again kamala cannot get crack a thousand she can't even crack half she can't cr barely crack 500 True. on these announcements and why and you guys both do this professionally and not to jump super deep into the technical elements of live streaming, but live concurrence is a direct correlation to the number of people who are actually energetic about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The number of people you can bus into a stadium for a pack of cigarettes or call as actors from LA to come to Phoenix, Arizona, which they did, mm -hmm. um, because you, you have the listings there. The, this isn't real. I, th I think it's astroturfed, and I think the reason why they did this so late in the game, they cheated, right? It's important to say this. She was illegally installed. They cheated, and they've all admitted they cheated. The cheat is we knew we were going to lose, so we changed the player. Um, they cheated, and they're hoping that the sugar high is enough to, like, get them th within the margin of fraud, right? And then shenanigans. If you... But I don't think that the sugar high is an. I don't think the sugar high is. A, I'll tell you this. I would be blackpilling right now if Kamala Harris wasn't currently vice president. I think that the gravity, I think the gravity of her being the current vice president for the last four years, uh, is enough to weigh to weigh her down through the identity politics uh, barrage psyop that we're living through right now. Right, that, that's effectively what we're living through. Also, man, bro, she, uh, she. The, her first decision was to pick a stolen valor, like yeah. absolute goof troop, who is like one of the creepiest, strangest, like freaking weirdos out there. And maybe she might have to actually dump him from the ticket. That's the rumor going around. Uh, that, that cause he's good. Yeah. That would look bad. I, I yeah. also, I, sorry to interrupt, but also one thing I try Please. to wipe hell on is the fact that she picked him walls means that that is not an aggressive move. That's a, we need to fortify Minnesota and the Midwest. Yeah. I think if she thought she was ahead, uh, they would have picked Shapiro, even though yeah. he had some baggage. The other white pill is now polling has never been worse. Okay. It's never been worse because polls have become content now. So if you yeah, start looking at right. like even yeah. RCP and all this stuff, it's like, yeah. what is this poll? I've never even heard of this poll. And then you get a spawns a hundred articles that all say the same shock new poll, blah, 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 blah. But just for the fun of it, right now, the RCP average on polls has Harris up 1.1. There are two new polls that came in um, from Morning Consult and Ipsos. Okay, <laughs> fine. Um, she's up 1.1. Suppression polls, those are fake. Yeah, today in history okay in august 13th 2020 joe biden was up now again kamala's up 1.1 1 .1. joe biden in 2020 was up seven and a half and in clinton at this date in history was up 6.8 so and by the way trump beat trump beat clinton obviously and many believe yeah. he also beat biden but the 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 point is she's way pulling behind them and and at minimum you could make the argument that Trump was it was a nail biter in 2020, and he obviously won for sure in 2016. So I, I'm hoping that, and again, these polls, I try to tell people if I could borrow your platform for a second, Benny, if you're yeah. looking at poll data and you're doom pilling, you must, I don't want to hear you complaining about polls unless you click on the poll and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom 
where they show the actual people they polled. Because once you do that, you generally find that they oversampled or undersampled at the most basic levels. And it the will generally tell you the poll is baloney. The only crosshabs I ever look at are likely voters in swing states. These yeah. general election polls are designed to psyop you. Here we go, October 24th, 2016, one week before the general election. All the debates were done, everything was finished, the, the cake was baked for President Trump versus Hillary Clinton. All they needed to do was ride their horses through the week to election day. Donald Trump's chances of winning are approaching zero. <laughs> not 5%, not 1%, zero percent. Yeah. <laughs> from the Washington Post. This is what blackpilling, this is what blackpilling looks like, okay? Yeah. And and th they're going to do it all over again, right? They're going to do the same thing. So you need to like be, you need to you need to have a uh you need to have like your immune system built up against the black pills. Yeah, I think one one of the things you were saying before you brought me on uh about local government is very true. For example, there's a primary in Wisconsin today. Get out and vote. No, yeah. or vote yes on both referendums, by the way, that allow our Democratic governor, Tony Evers, to spend uh, federal dollars however he wants without oversight. But anyway, just like the local votes matter, if you spend a third of the time that you spend staring at polls and poly market and predict it, trying to find just one friend, one reluctant friend, and you take their rear end. By the way, you're a private citizen. You can do that. You go to get a friend. You're like, let's get you registered. Let's go vote for Trump together. And if everyone does that, instead of staring at these polls, which I 100% agree with you guys, they are designed to demoralize the base. Mm -hmm. They are designed to make you think you don't have a chance and you don't show up. What I will tell people, to your viewership, I'm sure it's similar to what you're saying. I hope it's not the exact opposite of what you're saying. But it is my opinion that you vote early in person. As Bongino says, bank your vote. Yes, I know. In per early voting sucks. Yes, I know mail in ballot suck, but Democrats are doing it. And if you are, if you don't find yourself in line at 7 p.m. on election night when the machines accidentally break, then they can't prevent you from voting. Yes. And you can track your earlier in person vote online to make sure they count it. And you can make sure you get that that vote in. And then you can spend a week finding a friend or another friend yeah. and take them to vote. And that's how winning is done not staying online and doing what we do and doom pill and talk about this. It. So it's all of our viewers that get out there and they get out there and they get their aunt or their uncle or their cousin or their brother or their sister who may be apolitical, but it's like, Hey, if you're apolitical, how about we, you know, it's been a while since we hung out. Let's just swing by the, let's just swing by the early voting place. And you know, mm -hmm. it's done it. If you vote early, it is so painless. There's never anyone there. You're in and out in five minutes. Yep. That's my I, pitch. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's... I voted early in the Florida elections of 2022. It was easy peasy, man. I did awesome. in the I did in the last two elections. I literally walked in at 11 o'clock in the afternoon and walked out three minutes later. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. I tracked. I forget. I, you might know the URL, but I think it's like YouGov or something. You can track and see that your vote's in. You can see that it was counted. You can see who you voted for and make sure that kind of stuff. And then you don't have to worry about it. Then if something happens and you get in a horrible car accident, you don't end up voting Democrat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. Here we go. The top battlegrounds, a real clear politics average. Donald Trump leading in uh, one, two, three, four, five of the seven swing states. And within the margin of error in places like Wisconsin and Michigan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if, if this holds correct, then he you're wins. looking at Donald Trump winning on election night in a map that looks like this. Now, this yeah. is tighter than it would have been with Joe Biden. With Joe Biden, Donald Trump would have been up above 300. I think so, but, too. Yeah, yeah. But, but they cheated, okay? Listen, they're cheaters. They're cheaters, all right? They're the nasty, wretched girl from your hometown who's cheated on every boyfriend she's ever had. These people have cheated every, every single time they've gotten a chance. They have cheated and bent the rules, and they're doing it right now. The goal was for Donald Trump. Donald Trump was going to face Joe Biden. Joe Biden said God himself could not get him out of the race. Joe Biden posted on X 24 hours before his suspicious dropout letter with the uh, signature that didn't look yeah. like Joe Biden's, which Nancy yeah. Pelosi says didn't even sound like him. Uh, he posted 24 hours before then, I'm staying in the race. I think they've deleted all these ALX, have they? Have they gone and like shame deleted these posts? Okay. No, they're still up. Well, you say God so himself didn't. 
couldn't get rid of him. But Nancy Pelosi is the, probably the a little bit closer to the devil than God. So perhaps it wasn't God that got Joe Biden. Jeremy, I would never say anything all. like that. I'm just quoting Joe Biden. <laughs> I know you wouldn't like, say that. Mr. Catholic, I, Joe yeah. Biden said in that George Stephanopoulos interview, like that God isn't coming back and isn't telling him to get out of the race. So then something happened, right? Tucker predicted this. Something they... <laughs> Rob Blagojevich, Rob Blagojevich, governor of this state right here and Illinois. Shout out to a Blagojevich mention. A Blago, <laughs> baby. Blago. Yeah. Also, what's going on with your state over here? Jeremy, I, what's happening up I'm here? I'm doing everything I can. We got we were red in 2016. Then, you know, what's going on with this up in Mitt? 400,000 votes at 2 a.m. in Milwaukee is what happened in <laughs> 2020. <laughs> So Blagojevich says, I know exactly what they did to Joe Biden because they did the same thing to me. They walk into his house, guys in dark suits walk into his house, put a file on his desk and open it up and say, oh, you think we haven't been watching you for 50 years? Yeah. Like, be a shame. Would be a, just a shame Oof. if your grandkids yeah. had to go to prison for this, 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 and this. And Biden drops out. That's what, yeah, that's what Blago told us. You're, well, you're 100% right. Um, basically everybody in government has a file like this, even the guys yep. that we probably like, um, yep. because you don't get to be in those positions of power without compromising yourself in, I wish that weren't the case, but it just simply is the case. And, um, that you end up with, you're useful until you're not useful. They pushed. I mean, I agree if, if, if Joe Biden stays in the race, Trump wins, Trump doesn't even have to campaign. He wins with 300 yep. electorals. It's a, at one of the biggest blowouts in history. I think that Trump can still win in 20 in 2024. I think he will win if people ignore the the noise, the you know, the swing states. Look, win Pennsylvania, pick off one of these Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesotas or pick off, you know, get Arizona, Virginia, um, um Vegas and he just wins. It's that easy. Like he's just got to I think he's What do you guys think about this? This is a criticism. He's got to get out there more now. It's time to go. Yes. Like it's yes. time to go, dude. Like it's, yes. I know your rallies are fun and stuff like that, but you got to go baby. Like Kamala yep. is out there. He's got to go. JD Vance is not Donald Trump. I don't think sending JD Vance to Wisconsin matters as much. He's got to go. Yep. We need 2016 Trump. You remember when he was doing yep. like four events a day? That's he was doing right. like four MAGA rallies per day. Yeah. He was doing, yeah, right. He was doing one at like two in the afternoon. Then he was going to another <laughs> state and he's yeah. doing a, he has to do that. Like he has to get now it's time. You played enough golf. It's go time. Like by, by the end of September, he better be on the road every day. So what do you think about this? I saw you, I saw you posting about this. We were posting as well. Um, I'm a, I'm a massive fan of, of this, the, the strategy that he has been employing with, uh, going outside of dinosaur media. More, um, more like, like, like I, you, Jeremy, you and I should go down and do like the mega stream with Trump. And I agree. I, I, I proposed, I think Elon retweeted it. No big deal. The, uh, like Trump should just chill, sit down there with a 12 pack of diet Coke and just bring people in all day. Yep. You get 30 minutes, you get 30 minutes, you get 30 minutes and just, and then it'll be everybody's biggest stream ever. So there's a huge incentive to do it. And Trump is just good when he's off the cuff. He's naturally likable. He should have a he should have a bunch of these other streamers on and just be cool on camera like he just always is. I agree. Yeah, bring us down to Mar-a-Lago for sure. Um, he, he that's more authentic than right now. I don't and, and look. I'm not above criticizing Trump's campaign. Please stop bringing these like burnt out uh, people to endorse you and then sell crypto coins or whatever the heck he's doing. Like the a lot of these celebrities he's got around him are just grifting off of it. He's yeah. just got to get down, open up Mar-a-Lago and just keep a steady stream of people like Aiden Ross, even like people who are not in our circles, you know, like these right. kids that are really popular. Um, he should be doing um, full send podcast more than once. He should be doing all this stuff because he can win with um, old, older millennials or younger millennials, sorry, and Gen Z that listen to these podcasts all day long. Trump's out here with Aiden Ross doing 600,000 concurrence uh, on kick, which is just wild. Oh, here's the, here's the uh, oh, yeah, here's, shout here's out. The post. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yes. It, this is such an important point from ALX. Uh, the content from Aiden Ross stream went 10x more viral than corporate media interviews. It was all organic. My advice to Team Trump would be like, stop it with the Hannity interviews, right? Yes, the Hannity please. call ins. Like, that, that, that isn't 
moving any needle anywhere. Right. It's just not. And I got no, I got no beef with Hannity. Right. I got no beef. I got no beef. They're already I'm saying for him. that like doing like these Laura Ingram. Yes, that's right. Like it's so recidivist yeah. and it's so redundant uh, and the redundancy actually hurts. Right. And it's like Kamala Harris will go on the view, right? She'll go on the view. Kamala Harris did this cringe thing with Drew Barrymore. You remember that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was... Mamala. It was the Mamala, yeah, the Mamala thing. Mamala and they got like, yeah. they both got on their knees and like started crying. It was like super weird. That it was like, the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Oh man. Um, but like Kamala Harris will go do that. Like Trump has to beat him to it. Right. <laughs> yes. Of course, of course they're going to drag out Bon Jovi. Okay. To do a show. Right. Of course, Sting's going to play the guitar at one mm. of these things. Like you have to counteract the 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 Lady Gaga, yeah. right? Whispering Angels Taylor ad Swift. that she did with Joe Biden, right? Yeah, <laughs> Whispering Angels. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice reference to the. Uh, yeah, the. Um, yeah, I hundred percent agree, and I I hope that somebody in the Trump campaign hears this because first of all, like you said, it's all organic. Second of all, it's yes. free ninety nine, baby. It costs yeah. you nothing. That's right. You just keep bringing these people in. You, you fly a bunch of, you know, yes, obviously I would love to have him fly me down. We could talk about Section 230 and the Internet Bill of Rights and things of that nature. But like, even if it was not me and I couldn't directly benefit from it, it would still be what I'm suggesting. Like, fly these people down. You cost you nothing. And you can and you just have an Internet connection going. You do 30 minutes after 30 minutes after 30 minutes. Trump can, we know. He did three hours last night. Most of it, I will admit, he did get a little rambly. But like, you give them short, tight windows, you get five questions, five questions in, in, in. It'll be everybody's yeah. biggest dream ever. You'll turn them all into you turn them all into fans. And um, again, you don't ever have to leave Mar-a-Lago and he can golf you, in between meetings. You reach people that aren't watching Fox. Okay, again, yeah. no hate. I worked for Newsmax, but like, no hate. These these audiences are in their 70s. That is a matter of fact. No hate, okay? Like we're all working together, but yeah. that's not, you're not reaching. You've already reached those people. They're already you, voting for you. You right. need to reach the yeah. Aiden Ross streamers who I would assume that 20 is probably the average age of an Aiden Ross viewer. Yeah. I would that was a big thing that people used to poo poo. It was like, oh, his viewers can't vote. Yeah. Okay. Let's say 250,000 of them couldn't. Okay. What you're still reaching 350,000 potential voters and if you get guys like him, I know this is going to sound lame because I guess I'm once I'm over 40, I start 40, I say old guy stuff, but like you can make voting for Trump cool. Like yes. he's kind of started to do that a little bit where these like rappers are endorsing him. Yep. But like you could make voting for Trump cool. And then like these kids will go do it. You see these kids at the high school. Do you see? I don't know if you cover this where they the kid they they kids had like um parking spaces at the high school so, and they could like chalk yeah. it. They made him get rid of the Trump thing. But like, that's cool, man. Make Trump the counterculture again. Make him, right. make him cool. And you could do that by putting him on these streams. Put him, he, He's funny when he's a fish out of water. He's like, you know, when Aiden Ross is talking about Tupac and whatever, and he's like, oh, let's listen to Frank. Sin like, that's funny. Yeah. He's likable. <laughs> Tupac, I don't... I don't know about that. Have you ever heard of Marvin Gaye or the yeah. Village People? <laughs> right. That's what he's like. He's like, right. oh, we loaded up your playlist in the car. I'm like, oh, what's he going to play? He's like, oh, isn't that just great? Frank Sinatra, <laughs> one of the best. Aiden Ross probably couldn't name a single Frank Sinatra. But like, who? Can that's funny. That's content. You know what I mean? Like, that's, uh, I think that that's unscripted Trump is how he won in 2016. The debates is how he won in 2016. Yes. Plus, he was flipping everywhere. That Trump boss was everywhere. He did a rally in my hometown in West Bend, Wisconsin. Okay. So he did a rally at the fairgrounds that year. Like that's, he has to get back out there. He can't just yep. coast now. He could have done that with Joe Biden, but he's got to get out there. This is awesome. Yeah, there this it is. is what yeah. you're talking about, Jeremy. Yeah. I would argue, I would argue more than any single algorithm that they ran for the election, the fact that this was the first election in your lifetime or my lifetime where the Republican, well, since Ronald Reagan, I was I was born in the last the last years of Ronald Reagan's second yeah. term. Um, this is the the first time since Ronald Reagan that the Republican has more cultural power. He's cool than the yeah. Democrat. Yeah. Now that's the a great deficient point. the deficiency between Biden was 
was catastrophic, right? So the left completely the left completely runs on their cultural power, right? Their ability yeah. to call in Jeremy uh, Renner, you know, or what, yeah. you know, uh, who's the white guys for Harris, like, uh, Je- oh my Je- God, Ben yeah, Stiller, like, all Jews yeah. wish we were black. What? <laughs> Dude, hey, what? You're the guy who made Robert Downey Jr. black in Tropic Thunder. Okay, yeah, now I get it. Weird. Yeah, like, well, actually, now, yeah, it makes sense now. Right. So it's like, like Donald Trump had a, there was a catastrophic deficiency in cultural power for Joe Biden. There was no, the, imagine the clown makeup you gotta put on every single morning yeah. uh, to go get your soy latte as Harry Sisson. If you're Harry Sisson and you were out like in May and you were like, you were like, it's like scream posting, scream posting through the tears that Joe Biden's like your best friend and how cool Joe Biden is and how honored you are to support him. Like imagine how painful those posts must have been. Yeah, uh, I think the point of Kamala and forgive me for this long winded point here. The point of Kamala was to narrow that gap, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah. now you get all, you know, now you get like the intersectional and uh, like the the kind of like mom- the history the cool kind of thing. Yeah you, yeah. yeah. you smash like Hillary Clinton and Barack together. Right. And you get like these, these firsts. Okay. You get people part of this historic moment who cares about the candidate. It's a historic moment. And you're able to narrow the cultural deficiencies. I think that's actually what they, they obsess over those kind of things on the left and they were horrified. That's why they put Joe Biden out to pasture. Yeah. Yeah. Then one day after the election, we'll know the truth and Joe Biden will probably say it because at the end of the day, he's a proud man who spent almost his entire life in politics. I, I think that and I, it could be, you know, you could see anything, you know, Jill Biden didn't like Kamala either. Like they didn't oh, like, yeah. The, yeah. So, I mean, they all hate he, each other. They you hate could, each other. Yeah. So you could see, I mean, you could see anything implode here leading up to the election. You're right. The id poll stuff, it works for a certain chunk. I don't know about the undecideds. My biggest concern is that the the Kasich effect that I talked about with um Sticks Hexenhammer shout out is that Kamala has ba- is basically just a stand-in NPC Democrat. And that's why she has all the momentum is because nobody knows who the heck she is. The same thing happened with Kasich back when he was pulling so good. Nobody knows who she is. So what Trump's got to do is he's got to, if she won't come out, he's got to drag her out. He's got to make mm-hmm. insa- all sorts of wild claims about her on live streams that she has to respond to. Mm-hmm. And like, you have to force her hand to respond to stuff, find every little scandal that she's ever in and bring it up. Like last night he brought up tampon, Tim genius. <laughs> Okay, he's got to keep doing that to force them to come out and be like, well, yeah, actually, I mean, I put tampons in the little boys room, but, you know, you know, like that's what that's the only way that they're going to address anything, at least in, in my opinion. Otherwise, they're going to just hide. I think Elon called Kamala an NPC last yeah. night. Did he do yeah, that? He Elon said yeah, she's they, an NPC. Oh, OK, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that she is. I mean, she literally is like, I'm just here to be black and, and female. Um, and and you stupid white people with white guilt are going to vote for me. So Trump's got to get her out there. He's got one debate. That's all he's going to get. So he better, you know, he's, so that was he's fake gotta, news. So Trump saying that there were going to be that Kamala's agreed to three debates. Did I misread that? I've been offline for like 24 so Trump, hours. Trump agreed Trump. to three. She did not agree to all three. Okay. Her position yeah. is we're going to we're going to do the Stephanopoulos one and then we'll discuss maybe doing other ones after Ex-girlfriend that. Ex-girlfriend energy, man. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. believe who writes this stuff. We're not yeah. calling it X. Can you imagine yeah. like four more oh. years? of the, Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's excruciating. Yeah, we're not going to call it X. They said in their little press release <laughs> last night. The yeah, but you're boss. still going to post on it and you're going to pay for advertising on it. So there you go. We're not yeah. calling it X. OK, like who writes these Brie Larson? Like who's writing this? It's like <laughs> the MCU fired everyone and now they've gone over to go work for yeah. Harris Walls. Take that, Elon. We're yeah. calling it. Twi- we're dead naming you. <laughs> they've got, that's right. <laughs> they've got it. You know, that's 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 got to really scare the hell out of them because Elon Musk owns Tesla. He owns lower space. SpaceX. These are cool companies. These are cool companies. People like them. They have cultural value. These mm-hmm. these va- these companies have cultural value. Mark Zuckerberg coming out with his like, uh, his, you know, his new rebrand, Gen Z <laughs> rebrand, being like, yeah. that's the most badass thing I've ever seen. Donald Trump do that. That's that's a bigger fire than anything, right? That yeah. that it's acceptable to wear a MAGA hat walking down the street. That is so hard. They work so hard to make that unacceptable. 
Yeah, it's acceptable to wear a MAGA hat down the street. It became now, today, I think, right now. Like, you can now walk into any restaurant you want with a MAGA hat and know that, like, probably you're going to get more fist bumps than people hissing at you. It used to be, um, I would call them, uh, it's not my term, but you get, like, low bones where people would be, like, give you a little on the low or they'd be, like, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> but, like, now it's more, you see a lot of Trump merch. My assistant is currently wearing a MAGA hat at work. Uh, so, like, you know, it's. Are um, they in the, are they, are they there right now? Yeah, she's here. Okay, can you pop on the screen. Pop on the screen. What kind of, what, I want to see what MAGA hat. We're MAGA hat aficionados around. Oh, here. I have the best one. I have. You want to see which ones? Uh, dark MAGA. There you go. <laughs> What's yeah. going on? I have the where, dark is it the MAGA gold? one somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. The... Show, show me the gold. Is it the gold? Get up. Can you get yeah, up on the camera? Yeah, I want my gold one. Is uh? She's got the white and gold, which is very sh it was a sharp look. She has white look. and gold, but I have the gold on gold. Uh, Ooh, which was doggo. sold out at, yeah th this the camo one which is uh popular in wisconsin i don't oh i would it's downstairs but i have the gold on gold that was at the rnc that was the hat the gold on gold yeah. with the gold american flag like very trump like you wear that while pooping in a gold toilet you know like it's <laughs> gold it's all the gold. way yeah that um so yeah it has definitely become c culturally cool i think he needs to play into that i think he needs to um to bring on more streamers and then he needs to hit the road probably by i don't know by september oh that's a classic too i will admit that that inside of the studio for years we've been rocking the kid rock for senate hat a uh, reminder yeah. that kid rock did he toy did with yeah, did toy it, yeah. with a senate run in 2018 and yeah. could have won, could have absolutely have won Michigan. He could have won a Senate seat. At that time, I think so. Yeah, yep. at that time. Now you have to be uh, Muslim to win Michigan, but the um or anti-Jew, I guess. But the um it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. If he can if he can make it cool, if he can continue to play into the mega on cool, you know, we're cool, Harris is dorky and stuffy and yeah. she doesn't you know i think by the way i and think tim Walz gonna... has stolen valor i mean that that hits man i'm the guy to tell you valor that... i have still been unable to debunk the other rumor about him which i won't go into much detail but the um i've been looking for somebody to debunk his uh his um i don't know his equestrian career i guess i would call it maybe <laughs> I've been i'm just saying i haven't been able to debunk that and that's going around the internet so i don't know uh, I would not want to vote for that guy, but, um, you know, ultimately if, if that they can like pin them as the dork establishment people and Trump as the wild card, I think that helps. I think hit Gen Z. I think he needs Trump continues in my opinion, needs to keep telling people to vote early in person. I don't want to see what I saw in 2020 where people in Maricopa County were standing around at eight 59 yep. and they were getting turned away. Like, yep. I don't want to see that. Oops. The machines broke. Oops! What Oops. a winky dink. Yeah, I don't want to see that. I'll get your go in person. Find out you can usually it's like usually like two weeks early. Some places earlier. Go get go bank your vote and then spend another week or two. Um, you know, trying to find another person or two that can go do it because I can promise you the Democrats are doing it. That's how they won in 2020. They were going door to door, being like, mm, "Let me help you fill out this ballot." Ninety year old woman yep. who lives in a retirement community. Trump yeah. mega has to do that. I'm sorry. You can call it scummy all you want, but that's what they're doing. So you got to do it. So a couple of important, a couple of important things that sort of augment what we're talking about here. Um, one, there's no sound or do. There, there is yeah. nothing. Yes. Yeah. And that's so all there is. All of us are used to, Every morning to we... filling our tank. We, we, you usually can smell it and, and you can hear it. You can hear the guzzling sound. She keeps right. trying to None wiggle it around. So it. how do I know it's actually working? It oh. is. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, this is why they're not letting Kamala Harris do any interviews. Vice this is her today. spokesperson. This morning, this is her spokesperson this morning. Uh, well, she's traveling and talking to voters and getting her message out there to the American people, something that she's been doing from the very start of this campaign and something that she certainly did when she was uh, President Biden's running mate as vice president. Uh, but look, you just mentioned the speech running she's going to be mate. giving. I was asking about today, and I don't think she's got any campaign events on the schedule today, does she? Whoa, CNN? Well, she and Governor Walls have been traveling across the country. They hit <laughs> nearly every battleground state last week. 
on the campaign trail. They raised $36 million within yeah. the first 24 hours. Uh, but Governor Walls joining the ticket. And what she's going to be doing Friday is taking her economic message directly to the voters in North Carolina. I certainly don't want to get in, in front of exactly what she's going to say, uh, but she's going to talk a little bit about how she's going to make sure that she's putting consumers first um, as part of her economic plan. She's going to take on uh, corporate price gougers. She's right, she continues, up. and uh, I look to do an interview. If she wanted to do, I think we all do, uh, and I'll ask you more about that in just a second. The reason I was asking about today is because it seems like she has time if she wanted to do an interview <laughs> uh, with a member of the media or do a news conference, correct? There does appear to be that time if she wanted. <laughs> CNN. Well, look, she has said on the campaign trail that she would be doing an interview at some point. Um, just one. She said that, I think, last By week. By the end of the month. She'll yeah. do one interview. She'll do one By interview. The the why will she do one interview? Jeremy, I have the proof as to why you would never, if you actually wanted Kamala to win, uh, let her do an interview. Rapper alive. Tupac. Oh, Best yeah. rapper alive. Tupac. He's dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> you say he lives on. Well, not a lot. Lives. I know. I keep doing <laughs> Listen to Angela Wright try and save her. Listen. Listen how West desperate Coast they are to save Tupac her. Tupac lives on. I'm with you. I'm with you. So Tupac. Keep going. Keep Ask the question. That. Um, who would I say? I mean, there's so many. I mean, you she know, can't name it, one. I not even Quavo. There are some that I I, yeah. I would not mention My right now because they should stay in their lane. But um, <laughs> others. What? <laughs> I want to know who one of those are. Keep and then watch moving. this. Okay, all right. Keep, Keep moving. All right. Keep moving. I, I don't know any rappers. Keep moving. Yeah. Keep moving. Yeah. Keep moving. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you have, meanwhile, you have President Trump. Hold on. Where's my President Trump rappers clip? Klein. Klein. How dare you, ladies and gentlemen? What how an embarrassment. Da how dare? How dare? How dare? I was. I, I love this. Is one of my favorite clips. One of my favorite clips ever. Here as we well go. As well as best rapper alive, Chef G. Does everybody Chef know G? Yeah. Yeah. Where Chef is Chef G? G? An obscure Where local rapper. He? Come on up, fellas. Rapper Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> yeah. Come on up here, fellas. How are you, man? Hey. Oh, you. Oh, I like that. It's, I want to get that done. <laughs> oh, I like that. I want to get that done. Oh, He's starstruck. One thing, one thing I want to say. One thing I want to say. This is This is hard. They always gonna whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures. Trump gonna shout the wins for all of us. Make America great again. <laughs> And Kamala, Kamala can't even answer who's the best rapper alive. I don't know if you saw or if you already played this too. Is CNN? I could tell CNN's getting a little salty because they must not like like we don't have anything to cover other than Trump. They I um there was a clip where CNN uh, last night after the I, I just quote tweeted it's at the top of my timeline the where they're like oh it was just more misinformation and threat and then they act I think they accidentally or purposely called her out because the one clip they played was Donald Trump saying that she won't do interviews and that she's stupid. Like, <laughs> I think that CNN is actually like low key pissed off that she's not doing any press with them because they, they don't have anything to talk about. CNN's owned by Trump supporters now. Okay. So like, so, so, uh, Zaslov. That's who, true. Yeah. Who, yeah. Who, who bought the like Warner brothers, Right. So Discovery buys Warner Brothers that they own CNN right through like cutout. And so the guy, <laughs> this guy is like this guy is like a low key Trump supporter. And he's more like, I'm just want to make money. And the best rating CNN had in the last four years was when President Trump was live on their network. Remember that Kate Land Collins? Yeah. Um, oh, Mr. President, Mr. Yeah. President. Oh, I got to whip it out. Oh, I got to whip it out. Like, Did you see the she is that the chick who was on Colbert last night where Colbert was like, oh, I know you guys are uh, definitely unbiased. And the crowd yeah, and they all laugh. out laughing. She's like, well, it's supposed oh, to be a laugh line. Oh, dare. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoops. <laughs> no, even Colbert's quintuple jabbed audience knows that CNN's fake news. So here's what we're here's what we're missing, boys. This is why this is why I white pill. OK, this is why I white pill. 
this is what the, this is the offering to Kamala supporters. Kamala is nowhere to be found, doing no interviews, doing nothing cool. Okay, can't name a rapper except for her friend Quavo. Mm, talk it like I walk it. Uh, Mark <laughs> Hamill. Mark Hamill is doing Republicans for Harris <laughs> Zoom rally. <laughs> Yeah, it's everyone's so, favorite Republican. Yeah, a well-known <laughs> Republican. Him and Stephen King both will appear on that yeah. live stream and really change some minds. Hey, Alex, did you know that we're at the top of Mark Hamill's feed right now? I did not. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wait, what? Face. Yeah. Oh, so my God. I got, I, got, I got ratioed by Mark Hamill before, so. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Okay. Good old Mark. Yeah. Suck it. Suck it, dude. Not the way Tim Waltz does, okay? Like that. No, no, no. Like that. Just, stick to, just yeah. stick to the green, yeah. the green only, milk. Only uh, Yeah, that's right. This <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. The green alien milk. Yeah, stick to denigrating the la one of the that's most right. popular masculine heroes in all of history. Look at his look at his cover. Look at his cover image and everything. Oh, grotesque. You remember when like uh, you're like I, I just can't you know, I know it's a free flowing conversation. Gina Carano was straight up fired for stuff like for stuff far less than this. Right. And they said it was she was getting political. And here's Luke Skywalker himself. Caring who apparently water, is going to yeah. be rolled into more Disney project, Disney Star Wars projects. Um, doing this. I mean, it's a despicable company. Well, True. I'm Disney glad I like that they company. do this because this will all come up in in um in a discovery with Disney's lawsuit yeah. with Gina Carano, stuff like Pedro Pascal posting literally the same thing, calling half of America, you know, Nazis, uh, yeah. Nazis. Yeah. yeah. So I'm fine with all this because all this is stuff that Gina will be able to point to and say that, Hey, well, it's not that I talked about politics. It's that I talked about politics that Disney didn't like, and that's how she's going to win her lawsuit. I think. I hope so. She got past discovery, which is awesome. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's moving terrible. forward. And um, I, I think uh, I, I hope that she wins bigly. And I hope that, uh, you know, by the way, Tr Elon did officially endorse Trump uh, Trump last night. I don't know if he had officially done so before, but that's good. He did. He got shot. He did. Yeah. So did. Uh, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that we, we get more white pills and then the the cackle momentum slows down a little bit. And Trump's got to get out there. Do some more live streams, bring Benny down there and yes. ALX and the quartering. And then also, yes. you know, some actual cool people bring some of those down too. <laughs> and, um, you know, no more of these. I wrote a song about mega and I want to get number one platinum record, real people with real audiences who yes. motivate them to go vote. And uh, I That's think right. that would be important. And actual audiences that are kinetic and like real and that yeah. you know, comment, like the chat, you know, we just freaking shout out to the chat. We just, Love the chat. We love you. We thank you. You uh, clearly love Jeremy. Um, yeah. Shout Jeremy. out chat. Yeah. Yeah. What's up chat. So I want to give like, I want to, I want to just give a final can't kill an idea. So the final thing I want to say, hmm. and I want your take on it is I personally believe that they know that they have a horrible, they have horrible damaged goods here and they're just looking to get I think you look at like what Kamala is doing. I'm not sure she's exactly running a general election campaign. I got to be honest with you. Um, these events that they're doing are closed. So this is my take on this. All right. These events they're doing are closed. They're not general admission events. You can't sign up. You have to get an invitation. Mm. They're not going to like convince the people. This is the ultimate white pill. Are you ready? The ultimate white pill. I need it, pill. man. All right. Yeah. Here we go. We'll, we'll put on our, I never wear a hat. We'll, yeah. We got to put on our kid rock hat to do the ultimate yeah. white pill. All right. So, so, so. Th so these aren't real events. They're doing events in like Indiana and Minnesota. She picks Tim Walls. And the reason she picks Tim Walls is apparently Josh Shapiro kind of like eased back. And what I believe is going to happen is they have the, the, the knives out for Trump. I think that they're going to She's not smart enough to understand, but they're going to actually run her into the ground. And they're going to lose maybe like by a little but they're still going to lose and they want to set themselves up. Trump's only one term. I mean, what an, an incredible shot on goal. You mm -hmm. guarantee that Trump can't run again. Trump's just off the political field. You tie him up in lawfare and you tie him up in impeachments throughout his entire next mm -hmm. term. You get a chance to like really message against MAGA again. And that's, this is their game plan. And they want to then uh, retool for 2028. 
and they like they like build their ground game and build up like a Josh Shapiro or something, and they like then they go in for twenty twenty eight to like kind of I, I think that's that I think that the ultimate white pill for this election at least that's the strategy. Yeah, Kamala is damaged goods. Biden is damaged goods. We can't lose in a humiliation. We don't want the narrative that we've lost forever. Mm. We just need to lose by a little less. We know Kamala ain't going to do it. She has too much baggage. She's a sacrificial lamb that we shove out there. It's super humiliating, but we just tr we do our best to shore up our base, right? Let them know we're still here, and Trump's going to win. I'll I'll accept that white pill and uh, add a secondary grayish pill that <laughs> that and say that I I agree. I hope you're right, but also I think that. Part of their strategy also is that they were worried about the down ballot destruction that Joe Biden would have yes. caused. Yes. Not just that Joe, it would have been humiliating. It would have been like they would have got crushed in the Senate races and the House races, the local races. Kamala, I think, like you said, makes them look a little more competitive. Probably, like you said, preserves their reputation a little bit. They get to just say, well, America was racist and sexist again. They didn't vote for Kamala. And um, we'll see. Hey, if I, if I if I can offer an option, you know, Minnesota is a open primary state today and Elian Omar is running for re-election. That's going on today. It could be a second squad member down third. and uh, third squad member down. So, you know, there's that. And there I think people are going to activate. I think it's going to be like 2016 again. Trump's going to be losing until he wins. I think that's <laughs> that's how it's going to shake out. And then even after he wins. They'll come out and say, now Iran is their new one. Oh, Iran was, uh, Iran was uh, hacking the election again. I think there are some people. I think there are some people who uh, who actually want Kamala to lose and that are really, really close with her. I think Obama actually wants Kamala to lose. They don't want to have to deal with Kamala. No, I don't think years. Obama likes her. I don't think no. he does. They, think they basically like... had to get pressured into endorsing her. Right, right. It's going to be the Washington generals, right? Like who lose against the Harlem Globetrotters and they, but they come out and they take the field. Like the goal is to lose, but to lose like without losing everything. Right. Yeah. And, and, and so this is, this is the ultimate white pill. So there we go. That's it. <laughs> Jeremy, we have your channel up here. Please shout it out. Of course, everyone knows the quartering, but if you don't. Yes, please do uh, follow the quartering. I'm live every day at one Eastern. So after Benny, you get a you can you can come watch my show and then stay entertained. I'm live Monday through Fridays on Rumble. Please follow me there on YouTube. Obviously, you could follow me there too, but I prefer Rumble. And uh, Benny, thanks for having me on. It was great meeting you at the RNC. And uh, Alex, you get to harass you at the RNC. We, <laughs> Luke and I tried to get pump him for some Elon information. He remains steadfast and loyal. Um, <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you having me on. And now I'm going to go get ready for my live show and. Uh, you know, best of luck to you all. And, um, you know, uh, I'd love to have you on when you're when one day when you're finally free, which probably won't happen until after the election. We'd love that as well. We have a, yeah. our, our meme maker, our in-house in-house meme maker made you a meme to send you off. Uh, all right. Since OK. You, since you mentioned um, an interesting theory about Tim Walls, we have this for you. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, Tim, no. no. Oh, they know. They know. Oh, they know. The horses know. They're like, hey, stay away from me. Yeah, yeah, poor Tim. Tampon Tim. He's another guy, like you said, Shapiro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, but I would say Shapiro didn't want to lose. If he backed out, it was because he thought she was going to lose. If he thought she so. was going to win, he'd take it. That's what at I least so. I would assume. But I think thanks so. for having think me on. See ya. See ya, Jeremy. Everyone follow the quartering. Yeah, sorry, guys, for the quick out. See ya, boys. See ya.